ですよ<笑> I know I did it I finally did it like a year too late because it's a new year now and Cats has been in theaters for a few weeks but I finally saw it so the big question is did I like it well all I have to say to that is strong feline leads it's about time I'm Khaleesi Grimes 82, and if you know me, if you know anything about me, you would have said, Khaleesi, this movie's right up your alley. Like a cat, like an alley cat. <laughs> Wipe out. And it's true. It's so fucking true. I should have been this from day one. I should have been this at day two. I should have been this at three three. I should have been a lot before. I should have been this movie at day five. But I definitely, definitely went out to the theaters and paid my own money to see cats. Definitely paid money to see this and did stay at home watching on my laptop on some sort of a third party skeevy streaming website. I'm sure there's plenty of garbage YouTube videos you can watch that, that just rip it a new one. But that's not me. That's not what I do and I'm gonna leave it at cat. I wanna first start off by listing off some of the actors in this film by doing a little cat call. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson, Judy Dench, Taylor Swift, Jason Derulo, James Corden, Rebel Wilson, Idris Elba, and a clouder of other actors sign up to embarrass themselves for our amusement. And I can't thank them enough. The visuals in this film are nothing short of astounding and nothing tall of frightening. First off, Kristoff, I like that the cats are mostly naked. And by mostly, I mean fully naked, but you can't see some of the private parts even though the women still kind of have breasts. And that's weird and uncomfortable. And I love it because it makes me question everything I know about my sexuality. <laughs> Maybe I'm a furry. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. All along it was a fever. It's kind of weird to think about. A cold sweat, oh, so hot-headed believer. I threw my hands in the air, said, show me something. He said, if you dare, come a little closer. There is more raw sexual tension in this film than my time as an altar boy. I mentioned that some of the cats are naked because some of them also have a tire on. Some of them also have cat tire on. <laughs> Judy Dench wears a fur coat. Looks like she's wearing a cat coat because it's the same fur as she's wearing. So either she shed that herself and then fashioned it into some sort of a wardrobe or she's wearing the cat fur of a fallen friend. That's like me tossing on a skin suit. It's a little messed up. That's why I like cats. It's not trying to be something good. It's not trying to make sense. It's not trying to have a story. It's just being. Why can't a movie just be? Just try liking a movie that's just being sometimes. Just try liking a movie that's just being. And like I stated, this movie has so many great actors in it, so many wonderful characters. It's really a catabration of all the fun variety we get. My favorites are as follows. Skimble Shanks. Buster for Jones. Rumple Teaser. Ba -ba 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 Jenny and the Dots. McCavity. Rum Tum Tugger, all aboard! Old Deuteronomy, Grizabella, <laughs> Mistopheles. If they make, nay, when they make a Cats 2, two Cats 2 Cradles, I have some more names I want to throw in the mix, such as Twizzler Dicks, Young Canopy, Candle Wax, Fanny Pack, Cheshire Skank, Toys for Taints, Slave One, and of course, Rob Schneider. I think my favorite character in this is James Corden as Bustopher Jones. Who doesn't love James Corden? He's like the funniest guy to ever be. Just ever. He's so fucking funny. I love everything that he does in movies. My favorite is when he did the role of Handjob in the Emoji film, a movie that's obviously one of my favorite animated films of all time. He is so good in that. And it makes me wonder how I can't get a role in a film. If he can, how can not anybody? This film is two hours long. That's two hours of cats on the street, cats on the beat, and definitely cats in heat. And I was one of them. 
<laughs> if you're wondering what the plot is, let me break it down for you as best I can, because I honestly only made it about 45 minutes in before I started fast forwarding. I mean, watching the whole movie in the theaters. Victoria is the main pussy cat that we're following and she's trying to make it to the Jellico Ball. What is a Jellico Ball, you may ask, and ask you certainly have. That's as much as I know of the plot. Really, it's just song after song, kind of mishmash together, Oshkosh Bagosh, blending, mixing, morphing into this amalgamation of dance and fur and, and this sensuality and these, these people cats just kind of rubbing up on each other and spinning and twisting and jumping and hopping and playing and perving and, and, and slapping and spanking and kissing and blowing and sucking and cucking and everything that you want from a movie called Cats that's PG for the whole family to, to enjoy. It's not really about the story, it's about the journey. And it's about the technology we've made along the way and what we can accomplish today with making scary, creepy shit that's just haunting. Wonderful. Another bonus to this unending amount of praise I've given is the music, which is hard to pass up on. Every song is a treat. Every one of them overstays their welcome by about four minutes. And I can't get enough of them. I've made my own songs based on the, the, the kind of the beats that they have. Kitty cat, skitty cat, gumby cat, paw. Itchy cat, bitchy cat, fishy cat, craw. Jellico, helico, sexual, raw. Singy song, kitty dong, furry cat, schlong. There's honestly more singing than there is talking, which I love, which is great, which I love, which is great. There is so much music, I could barely catch my breath in between songs. The only saving grace were the ads that were unskippable that came up every 20 minutes during my stream of the film. I mean, hey Barry, hey Barry, can you cut that part out? It makes it sound like I streamed this video instead of going to the theaters to pay money and see this pile of shit. Please cut this part out. I don't want people to know that. I want to give the illusion that I'm paying for this film and that I love it. Okay, Barry? Are you listening? Strawberry, hello? Strawberry. I only have one hang up and I think a lot of the T-Swift fans are going to have the same one and that is that Taylor's not in this very much. I wanted to see Taylor Swift's pussy in this film. I wanted to see Taylor Swift's pussycat in this movie and I was, I was bummed out. She does get a feline-tastic number though about McCavity. How do I know it's about McCavity? Because I think that's literally the only word she says in the song. McCavity, 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 McCavity cat, McCavity rat, McCavity, 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 McCavity shit. And if anything, I am underselling what I'm about to say, but I think that this is literally one of her best songs ever. I'm just honestly shocked that Cats hasn't won any awards as far as I know so far. I can only hope that it gets an Academy at some point down the road. It should win for acting by, by putting the actors through whatever this was. It should win for music because it's never ending and makes your ears bleed and your eyes and your ass gives you diarrhea. So with that, I bid you cat do. <laughs> Who's that feline over there? McCavity cat, McCavity cat. Whiskers and the grays all over his hair. McCavity cat, McCavity cat. McCavity cat, McCavity shat. McCavity, McCavity, McCavity cat.